Welcome to Rage You Nerds. We're doing a trailer reaction. It's me, Mr. Cack, and that's Reno, and we're just so beautiful and ready for you to do this wonderful time with us. Uh, but hey, before we get started, you know what you should consider? Liking, subscribing, hitting that bell, also known as smashing the dinghy. And then a sound Smash plays right dinghy. here. Okay, awesome. You should have done that. If not, doesn't matter. We're still going to be going through with this. So let's watch the trailer number two for Venom. Let there be carnage. Did you like the first Venom? I did. I did too. It wasn't like my favorite one. because I think I'm more of a Spider-Man fan, and it's hard, it it's hard to have a movie that's a, like so close to Spider-Man and Spider-Man not be in it. Yeah, I think that's where like it always felt a little bit lacking. But like for yeah. if you can get past that, it, it was a really good movie. I like Tom Hardy's character, even though yeah, at I think times he played a great Venom. Uh, even though at times his kind of oh shucks I'm sweaty uh really did start to like wear I'm mean, like oh my gosh man you have a super powerful alien uh inside of you just stop stop yeah. being yeah. a squirmy turd and because that feels like it borrows some elements from being like Spider-Man story in and of itself yeah. nerdy down like Tom Hardy's character never looked nerdy He's Eddie freaking Brock. He looked Jack the whole time. What you know, whatever. Uh, this is uh, Let There Be Carnage. <laughs> All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. Yeah, dude, that Dang. transmission was awesome. Eddie, hey, we should be out there snacking on bad guys. I love Venom's voice. <laughs> I am a predator. Ooh. I need to be. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get hauled off into Area 51. That lady body. had powers. Live by my rules. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please let me fix it. So I can bring it again. <laughs> you are a loser. <laughs> Daddy Brock, I want to give you my story. I'm glad they got rid of his curly People hair. Love serial yeah. killers. Please, why me? What's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. Ew. All I ever wanted in this world... This carnage. For you. That was going to be us. I am happy for you. No! <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. This dude needs some serious couples counseling. <laughs> All right. Uh, just. <laughs> <laughs> Silly shit. <laughs> uh, just so. So, first and foremost, the. No matter how you feel about the, the lack of Spider Man in Venom. The relationship between the symbiote and Eddie Brock or Tom Hardy's character 
is a highlight, and it looks like it's going to be even better this time around because they're now more comfortable with one another. The symbiote's talking a lot more uh, and expressing itself a lot more. The very first trailer was him threatening to eat that old lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I love it. I love so it. I'm uh, this. This looks great. Yeah, I can't wait to see that one. Again, it does. It does bother me at a at a at a fundamental level, and I will push it aside. The fact that Spider Man is not involved with any of these characters. It just feels frustrating because now it now there will not be a time where Spider-Man can be involved with these characters because whoever continues the Spider-Man property, whether it's shared with the MCU Sony or it's brought or back Disney. into Sony, they're not going to want to rehash Carnage and Venom that quickly. So like we're like 10 years away from seeing a movie where Spider-Man and the Venom symbiote are together. But they at least made Carnage a bad A from this footage. <laughs> Dude, they did. They and that's did. that's what they need to do. If Carnage isn't, like, the most imposing figure... And he scared Venom. Like, we saw Venom get scared. Yeah, he disappeared. Uh, hopefully they elaborate on he's a red one, what that means uh, a little bit more, because, to be fair, I'm not the most well-versed when it comes to all the different types of symbiotes. I just know that uh, there's a, a very fondness for palette-swapping them. Uh, when when they were introduced into the comics, so there's like a green one, a gray one. I think there's probably a yellow one. Uh, so l listen, if we're gonna if we're gonna mention that he's a red one, like explain what that means. Um, I think yeah, it's give us some info on that. Hopefully, they do more than just the fact that he drank a little bit of Eddie's blood that that made the Carnage symbiote wake up inside yeah. of him. Hopefully, they give us more than just that because that seems. A little lame, but you know, maybe maybe it'll win me over when it's fully, fully explained in the movie. Maybe it's one of those things where he got exposed to a symbiote and it's like was dead or like didn't wasn't alive or so whatever. It wouldn't activate, wasn't doing what Venom's doing until he tasted his blood or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I just need. Woody Harrelson to be crazy and evil, and I need yeah, the I like Carnage that. symbiote to just, however long this movie is, if it's not at least an hour of Carnage doing what his namesake is, then this movie has failed its premise. Yeah. All right. Uh, this has been Ragey Nerds. If you agree with us, let us know. If you don't agree with us, well, keep it to yourself. Uh, please make <laughs> sure that you Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and then hit that little bell icon if you want to keep up to date with us. We call it Smashing the Dinghy. Here's Smash the sound. The dinghy. All right, awesome. See you later, nerds. Get out of here. Da -da -da -da. Get out of here. Okay, Dad. <laughs> I'm okay, Dad. <laughs> Butterfree. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, let's see. <laughs>